uh, we are breaking news. News okay. reaching us now mm. says that armed security men are in the premises of Dr. Joy Nune, former Niger Data Development Commission boss since 4 a.m. They've been there since 4 a.m. in Port Harcourt River State. She's supposed to be on her way to Abuja via the uh, Port Harcourt Airport. That's the breaking news, and we hope that uh, <laughs> this, is disturbing. Know, this is not an attempt uh, to so intimidate her, harass her, or, <laughs> you know, punish her for some of the revelations she has made about the uh, Niger Data Development Commission and some of the uh, major stakeholders uh, overseeing that uh, particular uh, commission, particularly uh, Senator uh, Godswell Akpabio, former governor of Akwaibom State, who is currently uh, the Minister of Niger Data Affairs. I know, just... We'll keep a watching brief on that story. Mm. Okay. Okay. Oh, she's on phone. She's on phone, okay. Uh, good morning, uh, Mark. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Where are you and what's, what's your state now? Uh, where, 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 are you, where are you now as we speak now? Uh, where are you going? In my bedroom in my house in Port Harcourt. Okay. I was just trying to get ready to catch the first flight to go to Abuja for the submission to um, before the House of Reps, the investigative panel. So this morning at about 4 o'clock, we started hearing them, them banging at the gate. And then they said the police was here to take me. I said, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. What if they're not real policemen, mm -hmm. you know, so that they don't take me um, somewhere that I don't know. So I've been in here since, you know, I spoke to them from upstairs. They said they are here to, to pick me up. Well, you so, recall, you recall, uh, uh, Dr. Nunia. Went over, I'm sorry? You recall that yesterday, Senator Goswila Pabio issued a statement accusing yes. you of uh, defamation expressly. And yes. uh, in the concluding paragraph of that statement, he pointed out that he had advised his lawyers uh, to yeah. take action against you to seek redress in a court of yeah. law. Uh, could this, yeah. uh, you know, uh, invasion of your residence, could it be an outcome yeah. of that? Did you receive any communication no, uh, with regard to a legal case the against you? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Nunia, we lost you there. Hello? Well, we seem to have lost communication with um, Dr. Joy Nunia, former NDTC uh, boss. Uh, Dr. Bati Rufa, this is a very disturbing um, um, development. Yes. Uh, to have policemen raid or, you know, invade her house I mean, as I, early as 4 a.m. I wanted to find out what the situation is at the moment because she said this was 4 a.m. and she's been in the bedroom since then. I mean, this is five hours after, if I'm not mistaken. Um, has that the situation changed? Are there more policemen there? Has she been able to speak to her lawyers? What would be the reason to have policemen invade her property well, at, you, at a time like this? You recall that uh, the River State Government had cause to issue a statement Mm -hmm. uh, to say that uh, nobody should harass uh, their daughter. Yeah. That was a phrase used by the Commissioner for Information, and that nothing must happen to her. Uh, to see this now happening within 24 hours of Senator Godswill Akpavio issuing uh, both a rebuttal and a threat, mm -hmm. I think it's very unfortunate. It, it doesn't look okay. quite okay. good. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, we'll Dr. Nune, you are back with us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just were here as a question for you. Yes, Dr. Duny, I was just going to ask you, you said the policemen arrived at 4 a.m. This is five hours after. What's the current situation? And have you been able to speak to your lawyers to uh, investigate what exactly is happening here? Yes, I've spoken to my lawyer. Um, we're just, they're just trying to find out what's going on. Um, they've been banging on the door downstairs. I don't think they would break in. They shouldn't do that. The person that committed all these offenses outside and waiting to hear that I've been locked up, it's crazy. But it doesn't stop my fight, definitely. Mm. I've been in the struggle forever, so this is nothing to me. Somebody cannot commit all these offenses, misappropriation, 
criminal activities, and then he sits and sends police people to arrest me. No oh, way. Okay. I'm not battled. Yeah. Have you been able to, to investigate, uh, or have you, uh, has, has your lawyer been able to come no, up to you I've, I've on the people to that anything. sent what them? What I just did was to be calm, pray. This is a war between the devil and God. Well, by you yesterday, know. in the statement by Senator Apavio, there was a line there. He says, look, uh, everything you have said is personal and sponsored. I'm quoting a phrase that, from that. That's an insult. Um, Ruben, you know me. You know nobody can sponsor me. You know that uh, I don't do things. Nobody can sponsor me for what personal. I'm under investigation. He, he gave a testimonial that I'm, I, I'm not corrupt. He gave a testimonial. So th those ones are, so what? I'm not under investigation. So what? I'm not under investigation. So how can it be personal? Then, and then there's no forensic audit going on. I've said it. So who are the people afraid of what forensic? There's no forensic audit. You saw them um, the day before yesterday. They went before the National Assembly to try to get the 2020 budget. Yesterday, BPP well, appeared before the House of um, Reps. And BPP said yes. Akwabio told them that the budget had been passed. Do you know? Then they said, where is the letter? Where is the copy? You can't act on, on boys. Somebody cannot just go to BPP, collect a, 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 a due process certificate of no objection. So we cannot be deceived in Nigeria. There is no forensic audit going on. And you have confirmed now that they were at the National Assembly. They couldn't even defend their budget. Okay, so but they went back. But the people at your gate. Of what, and who can be sponsoring me? The people me, at your I'm gate. Just doing my own thing. The people at your gate. For seven months since he removed me. Okay. If he didn't even touch me, and he, if he didn't go to before the National Assembly to say that, he told the Senate that he tried to put some of their, their, their monies on me, and then I had to go and defend myself. Otherwise, I wasn't going to speak. I, was, I don't have the time, but I will defend myself. Okay. This is our country. I was trying to ask you, the people at your yeah. gate, what do they look like? Do they look like policemen, yeah, or do they look, yes, they can be armed. But what uniform are they wearing? Do they look like area boys? Um, Do they look like thugs? Do they look like thugs, agents thugs. of the state? No, they're not. Okay, what, what, you, can you look out of the window and try to look at their uniform and tell us what they look like? Police? SSS? They're, they're whatever. Police, they're police. They're all police. Policemen. And yes. do they provide any uh, arrest warrant, uh, letter of investigation? No warrant. I've not been given any warrant. To can you warrant. recount what actually happened at 4 a.m. in your house? Uh, I, I'm, I'm supposing there was a gate, uh, but you said they yeah. are banging on your door. So well, recount what happened exactly. No, nobody opened the gate. They okay. began to push the gate, and they pushed it, and I don't know how they, it, it opened up anyway. Uh, you uh, know. So you're saying that your premises, like within your compound, at your door, but Still not outside outside. the house? No, they're not inside the house. Okay. No, they're not. Okay, they're I, not. I, I, I just want to ask you this. What is your state of mind now oh. with all of this happening? <laughs> um, my state of mind is this is our country. I'm not afraid. I will stand up for it. And I will still go before the National Assembly, no matter how long it takes. So stopping me today doesn't mean anything. If it's the sacrifice that I have to pay, uh, this country will be better. I'll do it. I've done, I've been in this struggle forever. And, and so, do, you, do you fear for your life? No, now? I don't. I don't. But do you I don't intend think, to... I don't think any, anybody can take my life. It's not possible. But do you intend to still uh, today uh, get across to the uh, Senate uh, by way of perhaps written communication now that yeah, this has become... Uh, I have Public reached knowledge. out to, I have reached out to the um, chairman of the panel to tell him what is going on that I might not be able to make it, and um, I told them the situation. That's all. Okay, because I yeah, thought I you know you need to reach out to them. I don't know. I don't think they would have the audacity to break into my house. I'm not an armed robber, so. Oh. But have you reported the situation to the same police or to the state government? I issued a statement to say you must not touch our daughter. Have you yes, informed the, the governor? The governor, the governor issued the statement. He was under pressure to recount it yesterday. He said, and he said no, he will not do that. He, he may, um, 
cement it, and that's the position of the state government. So. And finally, just before we let you go, how many security men are at your premises at the moment? Well, I Outside don't know premises. exactly, but I'm sure they're up to 50. They're all over the compound, surrounding, back, front, in case. I'm sure they think if I escape through the back, there's no need to escape. I'm here. Okay. okay, thank you uh, very much. So we, we will just hold up with you. I mean, we'll, we'll still see if we can call you uh, uh, while we have other bulletins here to check on you and see what the situation is like with you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that was Dr. Joy Nune, former NDDC boss, uh, talking to us about the invasion of her premises by armed, what she describes as armed security uh, men. Uh, policemen in particular, she said, in her Portacourt uh, residence, she was on her way to, she was supposed to be on her way to Abuja today uh, to the Senate committee, but unfortunately she's held up in the house. We'll keep an eye on that situation with Dr. Joy Nunier uh, later on.